<laughs> Q, <laughs> your boy Q West Goodfellow Media, we here with Prodigy. Yo, so when I noticed when you got out, you came back. I feel like this is my personal opinion. I feel like you came back with a with another a zest for rap again. Mm-hmm. Cause I feel like before you went in, I don't think you were as interested in rhyming like as you are right now. Yeah, I feel true. like a fire got lit under you when you came out and there was a difference before you went. How was your mentality before you went into jail as far as rap goes and your mentality when you came out of jail? Man, my, I was a fucked up individual before I went to jail, man. I was trying to, you know, change my ways and do certain things the right way. But I was, I had like one foot in heaven and other foot in hell you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying like and it don't work like that you got to choose a side you know what i'm saying you got yeah. to you can't be straddling the fence you know what i'm saying you got to choose a side what side you gonna be on you know what i mean and i had to learn that like yeah i was fucked up you know what i mean doing just foul shit like i i didn't give a fuck too much yeah, you know what i'm saying and that's basically maybe because you know i was born with sickle cell and that that will take a little mental effect on you cuz mm-hmm. the shit that i've been through growing up and just you know growing up in with in certain hoods that i grew up in and with certain people in my environment and all that shit make a person you know what i mean so yeah the shit that i've been through in my life made me a fucked up individual like i did foul shit in my life like foul shit that I would never do now. Like, I look back at it like, damn, that was foul. Like, Well, I think the music, you know at, like, the music at that time, I feel like it was showing you being in that messed up place. And as fans, we were like, and, and I, I would include myself in there, it was, it was kind of concerned, like, yo, what? Is, 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 is Prodigy going to take himself out? Is somebody going to take him out? Because he seems like he's one, like you said, one foot in, one foot out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, and I think that's what raised so much concern. So that's why I guess I wanted to know, like, what was going through, what was going through your head before all that happened? Just not caring, not giving a fuck, being selfish. You know, just after the money and the, the fame and the jewelry and the bitches and just wilding and reputation and just the wrong, all the wrong shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm so glad I got locked up because if I didn't get locked up. I would have been either dead or locked up for life or, you know, anything. Like, something bad would have happened if I didn't get locked up. So yeah. that wasn't a bad thing, me getting locked up for that three years. So was, it was like a refocus. So slap, slap on the wrist. Mm. Go sit down, nigga. I'm fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So if I if I didn't get locked up, something really bad would happen. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now, boom, you get out of jail. One, you got so much love from the whole industry showed you so much love when you got out. Were you expecting that? Um, nah, nah. No, I, I really didn't expect anything. I just wanted to um, get back, you know, get to work, um, you know, uh, connect with different artists, do the things that I really wasn't doing before, mm-hmm. and, um, you know, show people that, you know what I mean, it ain't, it ain't like that, man. I was the fuck. I was fucked up before. You know what I mean? I, you know, I had to do a lot of apologizing to certain people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just, just getting back on from a clean slate, basically. Like, yo, listen, I was a kid mentally. I don't even know why I did that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, that's not me. I look back and be like, what the fuck was on your mind? But um, yeah, I did a lot of that. You know what I mean? And just, just reconciling with certain people and with myself, with God, and just, you know, moving forward from there, man. That's it. And then, boom, you come back, the mob drops the tape, people try to make up that you and Havoc aren't okay. That turns out to be complete nonsense. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't even want to make you delve into that because I think you beat that with like a dead horse already. Mm-hmm. And then, now we're at H&IC3. So, with these changes, with everything that's happened in your life, what is going to be, what are we getting with HNIC3? Man, just great music, you know, timeless music and just fun, man. You know what I mean? Just having fun with it. Like, you know, um, that's it, man. Just trying to do good business. You know, this is the first album coming out on my own label that I've run. That's got to feel good. 
That's yeah. got to feel good. I got a distribution deal with Sony Red. You know, I paid them a 15% distribution fee, and I get the rest. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I got to have a real working label, though. I hire the staff. I got to hire radio, video, marketing, promotion. Like, I got to do everything. Tour, like, you know what I mean? So... Do you like it's that position? Work. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's how I was raised. You know what I'm saying? My family raised me to, to own and operate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like my grandmother, my mother, that's how I was raised. You know what I'm saying? To be independent, own and operate. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's just normal for me. Dude, here's something I found out that blew my mind about you. Your great-great-grandfather is one of the founders of Morehouse. Is now, that true? He is the founder. Of he Morehouse. is the founder of Morehouse. Yeah, he started Morehouse College in the, in the um in the basement of his, his Baptist what? church. Oh, so why didn't why didn't you you could have gotten to college for free? I didn't know that until you know I got older and I started really? doing research for my book. That's when I found that out. Wow. Uh, I mean, you probably still can. Yeah. Would yeah, you think? I got would, my GED while I was locked up. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely need to take some college courses. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, I, I think I think you might want to try to go in and, and make that move. I mean, it's, hey, you, you, you're not going to have to pay for school. We'll see, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they might be like, hold up, that's your great, 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 great. Nah, you got to pay us, nigga. <laughs> 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 that's too far removed. You got to pay some money. <laughs> but that's great. That's your direct family, man. Yeah, that's on my mother's side. That's on my mother's side of the family. Yeah. That's crazy, man. And I got another on his son, the one that started Morehouse. His son was actually a Republican senator in Georgia. And he opened up the first post office in Atlanta, you know what I mean, for the black neighborhood. Before that, the black people in Atlanta, they had to travel like 30 minutes, an hour out of their neighborhood to use postal service. So my, my one of my great grandfathers opened up the first post office in Atlanta, Georgia, for, for in the black neighborhood. Rod, you have a very rich, rich family history, man. Yeah, man. Some, you have some shit that I could be proud of. You know what I'm saying? And and brag about. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> you, you better watch out. Killer, Killer Mike <laughs> might be that. hitting you up to help him with the loans he did when he went to Morehouse. Oh man. Yeah. So, so I was just with Mike. <laughs> so watch out, Mike. Mike, Mike's going to know that now. He's going to be like, look, man, I got some outstanding loans. You need to, you need to get your grandpa's people. We're petitioning, we petitioning to get a statue of prodigy in, you know what I'm saying, in front of the school like this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> With the arms rolled up, no doubt, man. Yo, right. prodigy, it's, it's been an honor. Like you a legend, man. It's been an honor to sit here and speak with you. Good looking, you man. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. Um, follow, make sure you follow us on Twitter. At Prodigy Mob Deep. Mm -hmm. At Bugs Baguettes. With Z's. Yeah. <laughs> with Z's. Not, not, no S's. Bugs Baguettes with Z's. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Y'all y'all really getting busy, man. Prodigy, I, I yeah, hope man. all well all goes well with the label. Thank you know you. what I mean? This Thank is you. definitely a big step for you and you know, much forward success and just keeping things positive, man. We yeah, wanna yeah. keep seeing you just like this and attacking the rap the way you do man i'm trying to stay away from trouble if you see me getting in trouble oh my god that, that you definitely know the other person started it you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's probably one of these disgruntled niggas yeah. from my book that we're gonna have to, you know what i'm saying cracks my head open or something man you know what i'm saying Word. no doubt <laughs> good fella media your boy qs prodigy bugs baguettes we out of here y'all get it peace peace